What is up, Dacetacular Nation? Welcome to another edition of the Dace Man Show, and more specifically, episode 129. I am your host, Chris the Dace Man Dace. I am wide awake tonight, ready to rock and roll. I apologize for slipping into a coma last week where I was unable to join the show because I was asleep. I'm old. You'll get it. You eventually get there when you hit the age that I am, which we will not speak on air because I don't want you to know how old I am. Uh, We're waiting for everybody else to jump into the studio uh, because Blog Talk Radio hates us. We have the full two hours this week because it just likes to screw us on those special event shows. Um, But like I said, we're waiting for everybody to jump inside, get ready to rock and roll, and we will be doing the show live like we always do. Uh, It's been a hell of a two weeks in my absence from the show. Um, I have done nothing. It's been phenomenal. By nothing, I mean I've been working my ass off. Uh, And you'll see why when it comes up to the show. Joining me this week, as always, from down the hall, the one, the only, Frank Ward. Well, hiya there. How's it going? Good. How are you? Oh, golly gee. Just uh, swell. Swell? Swell. I don't know why I put an H in there, but it just sounded like it needed to be done. I don't know. I don't know why I said swell. I'm actually doing pretty shitty. Why? We don't need to talk about that. Oh, okay. And then I didn't say why. Just pretend I didn't say why. Right. We'll pretend that you didn't, because we don't need to get into it on air in front of people that could be listening. It, it, it could be bad. Yeah. People who listen. Why would you listen in on this conversation? It's a ABC conversation. No, I just fucked that up. Yeah. ABC conversation. See your way out, motherfucker. Thank you. Listen to thanks, the show. thanks, Obama. Yeah. Well, no, no. Thank you, Trump. That's the, that is the, uh, the rant we are on now. Oh, yes. So that's what you guys should check out as we get ready for the show to prepare. Uh, Gibby is trying to figure out how to work a computer. He's probably listening. has no idea what's going on. Um, check out our Twitter. Huh? No, nothing. Go on. Okay. Check out our Twitter uh, where we are trying to get Donald Trump to engage us. Uh, joining us, as always, the bird who's had more appearances on this show than the host himself, Gibby. What, what, what? Said what, what? And what? Said what, what? Okay. Uh, we have no idea if Patty McTitties will be coming back. Uh, we assume she died in a horrible whaling accident. Like we always Obviously, report. has to be the whales. It's gotta be. Um, mm-hmm. Wait, is that her? Trish. She's still for is- sale, by the way. <laughs> she is. Seven six zero five one two seven two four seven. If you'd like to buy this new whale, <laughs> Trish, she's still there. She's a cow now. Same color, but she's a cow now. Cow now, dumb cow. Cow. Yeah. cow. Trish, oh, settle down. Settle down. You don't have time for this. Do not take that tone with me. This is my show. Stop it. Stop it now. She's she is definitely coming for you. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I didn't say that. Okay? I don't know who you heard that from, but I didn't say that. Okay? Jeez. Uh, yeah, you get angry. You sit. You go in the corner. You're on timeout. Get it, Trish. Get it. Uh, I, I will beat you and make you into a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger? Eat more chicken. Eight This week's episode is brought to you by Chick Fil A. Thanks for noticing me. All right, Trish. To the corner. You stay there. You fucking hey, hey, no, 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 no. Get her out of my corner. This is my domain. Oh, Put her somewhere oh. else. You go to the round room and you try to find a corner. You hear me, Trish? There you, go. you find a corner. You stay Ouch. there. Ouch. Stay there. Always with the corners. No, it's the round room. So never find a corner. I guess it's time for, um, you know, what, what we usually do? Sports? I think that's what we've been doing. Is that what we do? What? I think it's sports. Sport. Curling news. Oh, curling. curling. Oh, like I wanted the site uh, came back. No, no, oh, it's, it's back. back. You did not if you tuned in last, last week. week. If you yeah. tuned in last week, you would know that we found the site was back. It was excitement hey, and happiness. if you tuned in for the first two minutes of the show, you would have known I was in a coma. I didn't even get any flowers or cards or anything. <sighs> they did without me. I was hoping uh, you you died. Oh my I mean, God. Um, I mean, um, 
flowers if you died, but he was hoping you died. Yeah, that's hurtful. Uh, co-host who has more shows appearances than I do. I'm just yeah. being truthful. That's all. Don't worry about it. No, it's, it's just a dick. I get it. It's fine. But I'm just saying, so much changed when I went to bed. There was like, you know, Trump was favored by a lot of people. When I woke up, he's telling Muslims that he can't, they can't get on planes. And it's just, it's chaos. And McDonald's breakfast is all day. What's wrong with that? That's all I'm saying. McDonald's oh, breakfast all day? Nothing. Except for the fact that it gives you shit. I know. There's a problem. Time for sport! Go! I don't, I don't see why we have to talk about sports. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think like sports. You know, we don't have to talk about sports. Nothing really good to talk about. Like we could just. I think it's right. We could just. Yeah, the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. you're being raped in the ear. Uh, it keeps getting random static. I don't know why. It sounds better now. What did you do? Uh, nope, it's back. Are you sure? It's back. It's there. You keep coming in and out, man. That's all. Don't worry yeah. about it. How about now? You're letting the terrorists win. Yep, there it is. There's the terrorist. It, it could be the NSA listening in. NRA, TSA, whoever it is nowadays. It's because of our interactions with Trump on Twitter. That's what it is. It's got to be. I think so. NFL Week 13 is in the books. The Green Bay Packers somehow miraculously beat the Detroit Lions 27-23. to Really? And Hail Mary uh, Pat. Hail Mary! Uh, that actually was kind of crazy. It was so crazy, it distracted every conference call I was on the next day. Really? So they were, instead of, you know, fixing things, they were just talking about, did you see what Rogers did? And it's like, yeah, I did. Now fix it. Thank you. This conversation. Sunday, December 6th, saw the Bills beat the Texans 30-21. to The Dolphins beat Bill. the Ravens 15-13. to The Bengals beat the Browns 37-3. to The Duh, Niners Bengals. beat the Bears. The Bears. Bears. 26 to the Bills. 20. Uh, the Titans beat the Jaguars 42-39. The Seahawks destroyed the Vikings 37 What? You did it too late. Uh, the Jets beat the Giants 23-20. The Cardinals beat the Rams 27-3. The Buccaneers that have Mercer beat the Falcons 23-19. The Broncos beat the Chargers 17-3. The undefeated Kansas City Chiefs beat the Raiders 34 to beat the Saints 41 to 38, barely. Uh, and in a shocker, the Eagles beat the Patriots 35 to 28. In a not shocker, they were up by 21 and somehow were almost lost. The Steelers beat the Colts 45 to 10, and to cap off the week, the Cowboys barely beat the Redskins 19 to 16. That is NFL Week 14. So the question realistically here is, who the hell is actually going to win the East? It's going to be the Cowboys. Just saying it. Come back. (laughs) In a league that makes no sense. In fantasy that makes no sense. (laughs) Nope. No sense. Zero sense. Not at all. The expect the unexpected. Defy your World. I think I stole that from CW. In other news, curlynews.com is up. Apparently, Yay! by my source, we should have seen it last week. You guys talk about the TCN top 15? Yeah. Okay. Gashu. Gashu still topping it. That's a, uh, God bless you. Um, and I'm, did you go through any of the stories? No. Oh, okay. Trouble brewing for top events. When our new returning columnist, Warren Hansen, speaks, people listen. With our digital edition. Check it out on the curlynews.com. On to something else that's Canadian. The NHL standings. The Canadians are leading the Atlantic Division uh, with 19 wins, 6 losses, and a total of 41 points, followed by the Red, uh, Red Wings with 35 points. In the Metropolitan Division, the Capitals, didn't know that was a team, is uh, leading their division with 40 points, closely fired, followed by the New York Rangers with 39 points. 
The Flyers are third to last with 28 points. Never say never. The Western Conference, the Central Division, the Stars are leading their division with 44 points, followed by the Blues with 36. In the Pacific, the Kings are leading their division, surprise, surprise, with 37 points, followed by the Sharks with 28. And there you have it, folks. That is the NHL standings for this Woo! week. Canadian up the uh, the whole thing. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, we Canada fied it. Uh, Tyson Fury, Fury. Uh, the boxer is stripped of heavyweight title by the International Boxing Federation. The IBF revoked one of the three titles Fury uh, won November 28th because a contract clause has forced a rematch against Vladimir Kishlov uh, instead of the IBF's chosen challenger, news outlets report. Uh, WWE News, Sting, the wrestler, uh, requires Die. neck surgery because of an injury he sustained at WWE Night of Champions. Sting, whose real name is Steve Borden, was diagnosed with a cervical spinal stenosis after receiving a powerbomb from Seth Rollins at the September 20th event, he said on Woo Nation podcast with Rick Flair. Ronda Rousey. Rick Flair. Woo! Rick Flair. Uh, Ronda Rousey, MMA fighter, has discussed the loss to Holly Holm in UFC 193 main event, quote, saying, I need to come back. Uh, she said in an interview with ESPN, I need to beat this chick. Who knows if I'm going to pop my teeth out or break my jaw or rip my lip open. I have to fucking do it. I get to say curses because this is a date man show. Just say. Uh, Neil Walker. The Pittsburgh Pirates trade second baseman to the New York Mets for pitcher John Neese. Both teams announced a deal uh, today, uh, a day after the Mets failed an attempt to land free agent infielder Ben Zobrist, who signed with the Chicago Cubs. Walker hit 269 with 71 RBIs in 2015. Uh, D'Angelo Russell and Julius Randle, Lakers players removed from starting lineup against the Raptors. Larry Nintz Jr. and Lou Williams started Monday's game. Lakers coach Byron Scott told the LA Times that Russell and Randle will come off the bench to, uh, for the next five to ten games. Uh, Chris Davis, Baltimore Orioles offer a seven-year deal, a $150 million contract to the free agent. Uh, the deal was first reported by ESPN. The 29-year-old player, uh, Played the last four seasons for Baltimore in 2015. Davis hit 47 home runs and ta- uh, tallied 117 RBIs along with a 262 average. The New York Yankees acquire infielder from Chicago Cubs. Uh, the Yankees st- uh, said Tuesday they acquired Castro from the Cubs in exchange for pitcher Adam Warren and a player to be named later. Castro hit 14 home runs and had 65 RBIs last season. And the last bit of sports news I have for you. ESPN analysts criticized LaShawn McCoy for comments on previous coach Chip Kelly. Uh, this ain't professional football, man, if it ain't about you, Edwards said Wednesday on NFL Live. McCoy, who has played for Kelly, uh, said he wouldn't shake his former coach's hand after Sunday's game. He is walking in with a chip on his shoulder. That, ladies and gentlemen, is sports. Time for weird news. Are you ready? For what? Am I the, am I the only one here? <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. You ready? What's going on? Ready for weird, what I miss? Weird, I think it's time for weird. Give me. Boy, that escalated quickly. Boy, it did, boy, it did. What you got for us, Gibble? An ESPN commentary lashed out at the liberal media on Tuesday for advancing an anti-football agenda. agenda. Like, with a new movie with Will Smith? Casting an ongoing public discussion over concussions in America, America's national sport as a partisan issue. The war in football is real, tweeted Danny... Kennell, a former Florida State quarterback who played for three NFL teams between 1996 and 2004. Concussion alarmists are loving it. Liberal media loves it. It doesn't matter. It's real. It's Con still real ES- to me, damn it. Yeah, Khan, who joined ESPN 2010, was responding to an OPED piece on Monday, New York Times, written by Dr. Bennett's O'Mal. Science has discovered chronic oh, trauma. Oh, Jesus Christ. Empolatophilia. 
Feely. See, whatever. And brain of deceased <laughs> football players. <laughs> Sorry. All this is coming from the subject of the forthcoming Phil con- 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 concussion, you know? You developed a stutter in the middle of that story? That's I, what I, happens I, I, when you get I, 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 concussion, you know? Concussion. <laughs> so <laughs> many of them. Um, it is our moral duty as a society to protect the most vulnerable of us. Um, Matthew wrote, The human brain becomes a fully developed about 18 to 25 years old. Um, so, this is what Mr. Cannell said. Do you disagree? Have you read the New York Times today? That probably a dumb question considering how well you read, how well read you are. What the f- Read. How well read. Oh, whatever. Shut up. Doesn't matter. You're not well read. <laughs> uh, define liberal media for context here, Danny, and ESP and part of it. C, Fox, all have reported on concussions. Are you starting to sound like I don't get lung cancer from smoking guy? Basically, I think Danny Cagnell, Cal- with every tweet, demonstrates what football can do to a brain. Are you still the, the same war- story? Yeah, I, they, they, okay. these are people chatting. This is, I'm, I'm, these are our Twitter messages or tweet messages or whatever the hell. I know it's Twitter, but they, there's like a tweet or something, whatever. <laughs> War is evidence and real. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys, really? All right, I'm done. What is this Next damn Twitter? Twitter. <laughs> the damn Twitter, guys. They're tweeting. They're birds flapping around. Who the hell knows what's going on? All right. This is an interesting one. I think so, at least. A Phil, uh, Pennsylvania Supreme Court justice accused of using state computers to exchange scores of sexually and racially offensive emails with other judges, prosecutors, and lawyers over six years was ordered on Tuesday to face a disciplinary hearing. Justice J. Michael oh my God, Eakin... 66, a Republican elected in 2001 could face a reprimand suspension or removal from the bench if found guilty. Uh, Justice Eakin engaged in conduct so extreme that it brought the judicial office into disrebute? What the fuck does that mean? Alright, whatever. Anyway, (laughs) moral of the story is the guy was sending nude pictures of I guess it, it looks like it's fellow uh, lawyers. Well, it's almost all female. Um, as well as, you know, some of the male justices' wives and things. Into what's being called a sex gate scandal. What do you think, guys? What do you I, think? I, I like sex. And I like gates. So I if like, you combine I them, like it, sounds, it sounds fun. Sex and gates. So... I like sex gate. Go on. All right, next one. You're making me sound retarded. You are retarded. It doesn't matter. No! Oh, my God! We have Ah! Frank around. Are you in Syria again? Frank, can you hear me? Frank is dead, guys. Frank is dead. He's our boots on the ground in Syria. Yes, boots on the ground. Guys! 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 Trump won't let me back on a plane. Why? I'm stuck here. Yeah. What's it like over there? Uh, It's kind of sandy, dusty, and a lot of terrorists. At least they look like terrorists. What? 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 Define what a terrorist looks like. Donald Trump's being very, very, very uh, broad about his description. He just said Muslim. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Um, I can I can narrow that down. I can narrow down. They're normally uh, a browner skin complexion with uh, black facial hair, dark facial hair, and yeah, a towel I have on their head. Facial hair, and I'm I'm brown during the summer. Am I a terrorist? I'm trying to find this out. Do you wear a towel on your head? I do. After I get out of the shower. Then uh, yes, you are a terrorist. Oh my god! So for the months of June to August, there's a possibility that I may be one. There's a possibility you may bomb a city. Yes. I bomb the toilet right before I shower and put on my towel. So, in these chain of events, will I be allowed to fly under the Donald Trump regime? No, no, sir. You probably won't even be allowed on the bus. Ah, Zeke Kyle, Trump! Zeke Kyle! 
That's our correspondent in Syria, Frank Ward. Back to weird news with Kimmy. Really? That, that's, that's how we're going back to me? It was breaking wow. news. Do you not watch the news? That's how they cut? All right. According to um, FBI, the first two things your kid should attempt in an active shooting situation are, one, run, to run. That's heroin. Two, this to hide. Guy, there's heroin in Syria. Frank, do you have more on this story? Uh, that, that's all for right now. Okay, Donald Trump preventing you again. We'll go back to uh, Frank later on in the show. Back to Weird News with Gibby. Back to you, Gibby. All right, FBI tells you to run or hide in case your kid, uh, there's an active shooter. In a segment earlier today, Elizabeth Hasselbeck brought on two martial arts instructors, instructors who have been apparently busy teaching children the art of running at active shooters. But Media Matters points out, never once does anyone explain that staying to fight should be an absolute last resort. Hasback starts by noting that in an active shooter situation, five seconds can mean the difference between life and death. But there are some things you can do and your children can do to make a difference. So in this segment, they have kids showing how to... Fight back somebody who has a gun. Fox you, you News, everybody. Run? You run? I would fucking hide. Fuck running. I got a gun? Ten feet. Ah. I would make it ten feet before I ran out of breath. Throw the woman Sorry. next to you in front of you. Put her exactly. in the bullet path. Put her in a bullet path. All right, we're going to Myrtle Beach, guys. A 39-year-old man was arrested after allegedly taking a chainsaw from a Myrtle Beach business and was... Chased down by witnesses who detained him until police arrived. Stephen W. Baker is charged with second-degree burglary and public intoxication after witnesses allegedly saw him take a chainsaw from a business warehouse near Highway 15, authorities say. Police were called at about 6.20 p.m. Monday to yard to a yard on the 200, 2000 block of Highway 15 where witnesses were holding Baker, according to reports. A 27-year-old witness who allegedly saw the theft said he confronted Baker, who ran off with a chainsaw. The witness and a 29-year-old man chased Baker, police said. The witness caught with Baker and detained him until police got onto the scene. Baker really, really, really wanted that chainsaw. That's all I'm saying. Did you say that they, when they chased him down, they teabagged them? Yeah. Okay. I thought I heard At you. One teabagged him, and the other one gave him a Roman helmet. No, we are not going down that path again. This is a rated R show, but not an XXX, okay? They do that stuff to goats over here, guys. Just uh, Oh, my enough. God. Goats in Syria are being Roman helmeted? More on this <laughs> later on the show. Back to you, Gibby. All right, guys. What can go wrong, right, if you want to dress up like your black friend? Okay. That's, dress uh, up that's in exactly all worse. orange jumpsuit. That's, uh, yep. And run around a busy urban area. Uh, toting a gun? (laughs) (laughs) What that would possibly go wrong? It's, uh... Well, apparently this this prank went horribly wrong, and there's a video for it, where police... Please send it. Please send it. I need to watch uh, this. Send it. Send it. Send it. Send it. Sending. Police uh, were not too thrilled about this prank. Guys, chill, chill. I'm white. It's okay. <laughs> Just joke. Oh, he's black. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I, that's the first thing I said. But whatever. Don't oh, worry about it. She dressed up as their black friend in an orange jail jumpsuit. I assumed it was some crazy emo white boy that went blackface and did something really, really stupid. Um, all right, well, I can kind of see that, but no, <laughs> never, no. Um, next one. Gun right groups are going to march with loaded weapons and then stage a fake mess shooting. So, did they steal this from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Because I feel like Frank Reynolds did this. <laughs> the group come... Come and Take It, Texas, and Don'tComplain.com are planning a demonstration 
at the Universi- University of Texas in Austin to protest gun-free zones. Okay, so you're going to take loaded guns to a gun-free zone and pretend to shoot everybody. Will you Go take on. blood? Says yeah. spokesman Matthew Short. To me, this feels like, hey, guy that I don't like, come march with me with a loaded gun. I pretend to shoot you, but this is a perfect opportunity for me to shoot you. Uh, let me reiterate. Gun right activists are planning a mere week after the San Bernardino shooting to stage a fake mass shooting at a major public university campus to showcase their displeasure with the idea of gun of gun free zones. Remember a few years ago when Texas said, Hey, we want to leave the union? Please go. <laughs> Just go. Stop what you're doing. Grab your shit. Put up a wall around Texas and go. Mass, Hello? fake mass shooting in Houston. What is wrong with these people? I On a college it's, campus. I, I, that's the perfect place to do it, obviously. It's not like, you know, there's nowhere, no other, like, schools are never a sign of mass shootings, right? Never. Never. It's, I, I, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Like, what the hell? What are you thinking, Texas? Oh, God. Oh, God, what that's happened? so stupid. Did you hear the story? Oh. You there? Are you back from Syria? Are you in the studio? Is that King Hippo? I Sorry. Don't know. I got completely, completely distracted. All right, guys, ready? Hello? Yep. Always Sorry, ready. I missed, I missed the uh, story. He's back. He's back. Is he I back? I don't know. Is he gone? Shit. Is he here? Is he dead? No, he, guys, he's still in Syria. Syria. Syria has uh, come back. Frank, Frank, you there? We have Okay, we're losing the feed. We're going to go back to Weird News with Gibby. We apologize, folks. You have to deal with Gibby. Uh, we will go back to Frank. Guys, guys, guys. guys oh, can oh, you hear oh, me? oh, he's back. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. I've, been, I, I've, uh, I've been shot. I'm bleeding. No! I need, I need medevac. Medevac. If you are listening to this, we don't have any friends in order to drive a helicopter. No, we're, we no don't don't send them anything. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, can you, tonight we can you honor a man. Send Trump or something. Anybody? Donald Trump, if you're hearing us, we need an extract. Bring your wig. Bring your hair. I'm white. I'm white. I promise I'm white. He is. He's reporting on the in-depth details. We do not negotiate with terrorists. Rest in peace, Frank. Thank you for joining the show. Back to you, Gibby. All right. An Edmonton dental assistant was sentenced Tuesday after she tried to hire an undercover police officer to kill eight members of a family so she could attain two properties they owned. My Thai Sparkling, 46, pled guilty to provincial court to counseling murder and uttering threats for her failed plot to kill the entire family. This plan bordered on absurd, but it was clear she wanted these people dead. The facts are here are extremely unusual. 2014, Sparkling hired Richard Sicard and Shang Fang to renovate a property she owned. Months later, Sicard was arrested on unrelated assault charges and Sparling paid his his five hundred dollar bail on the drive home. Sparkling claimed SAG had stole stolen money and property from her. On May fifth, two thousand fifteen, Sparkling went to Sicard's home to craft a plan to get rid of Shang's wife and family. All this over land, guys. Where the land is your land? I thought it when I said is. Edmonton, I assumed it was in Canada. Canada. That's what I assumed you were talking about. It's not. Well, the more I mean, I don't, I don't, these names sound like they're from somewhere in Asia. Well, no, there's a lot of that's a because it's like Vancouver in that area is very close to. Like it's easier to get to Japan from there. Every time I've gone through those airports, they are very Asian. Really, I didn't even notice that. Hmm. Anyway, so she wanted before. to have them all dead, all dead. Murder them. <laughs> murder, murder, murder. Then apparently did not go well as she decided to hire an 
a police officer to do her dirty work. Do don't, don't. my no. dirty work. Do my dirty work. I don't know that's a song. All right, guys. No. Syracuse, New York. A father and son are facing charges for allegedly stealing chicken wings from the <laughs> restaurant they worked and reselling them at lower prices. Wait, hawking chicken wings? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, uh, Ogdaga County Sheriff Office says Paul Rojek, 56, and his son Joshua Rojek, 33, both of Syracuse, are accused of placing chicken wing orders through the restaurant's wholesaler, then reselling them on the street or other restaurants at discounted prices. Police say the restaurant Twin Trees 2 was built approximately $41,000 $41,000 for the chicken wings ordered between February and November 21st of this year. Both Rojex are, Rojex are also accused of destroying the receipts for those orders. They are charged with grand theft lawsuit and falsifying business rector, records. They were arraigned in court. The judge set their bail at $2,500. I see. So all these wars over oil, and really we should have been fought, fighting about chicken wings. Damn right. <clears throat> Gotta watch out for them chicken wings. Mm-hmm. Guys, I want chicken. Oh! They don't have chicken in Syria. You are on a job, sir! Be professional! Alright. Sorry. <laughs> Kalamazoo! Michigan. 28 year old Ralph Please, Holden. Kalamazoo? Whatever. Ralph okay. Holden has been arrested and charged with murder in the first degree. <laughs> After his, after his living girlfriend. Murder! Yeah. After his living girlfriend was found slaughtered at their home over the weekend. According to police reports, concerned neighbors made the call when they heard Ralph Holden, 28, causing a disturbance in the residence. When police arrived, they were stunned at not just what happened, but why it happened. I have never been such an an insane reason for committing such a violent act, according to Holden's confession. He complained that Miller would not make eye contact with him when he was trying to (laughs) have a conversation with her. (laughs) Oh, this is the thing Eric said, huh? I mean, have you seen this guy's eyes? It's crazy eyes from fucking uh, Mr. Deed. Yep. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but n- nobody would know which way he was looking or which eye to make contact with. It was just a shame, you know. I thought it was funny. Is this a real story? I thought it was fake when you sent it. This is a real thing. Holy shit. Sorry. What can I say? Uh, and that's all I got. There you have it, folks. That's Weird News with Gibby. Uh, while Frank is on the ground in Syria, I don't, I'm going to head to Capitol Hill. we got some political news, and then we'll head to Frank's Corner. So hunker down, Frank. Uh, don't get what shot. What the hell is he doing? He's eating curry. I think he's eating Are you curry. serious? Well, I'm working a peace treaty deal, all right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this out. Yeah. So I'm, he, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to convince Icon uh, Industries to... <laughs> By Syria, therefore, we should be able to commute back and forth. Uh, negotiations are in the works, but Bridgestone's getting in the way. I don't know what's going on. I'll, I'll let, you, let you guys know later. Makes sense. As a side note, the Dace Man Show is interested in selling uh, all our properties to you, Mr. Icon. Uh, you've already owned three of us. So why not just buy the brand and, you know, set up the website, check us out, endorse us. Oh, yeah, baby. Endorse. Three endorse. Jobs. Three HM, I'm just say you you already own three of the people on the show, so you <laughs> might as well just buy the just show. Go with it. Just go pay with us it. for our great services that we do for both your company and for the show. Exactly. That being said, it is time to go to Capitol Hill. So, 
We still keep Nick's theme, even though Nick hasn't been on the show since July. But it's in political news. Yeah, sure. why hasn't he been on? I don't know. I don't honestly know why. He's, on. he's blowing up our chat for fantasy, but he's, he doesn't come on the show. Um, first bit of news here in political landscape. Tom Brokaw, the NBC News journalist, placed Donald Trump's plan to ban Muslims in historical context. In the segment he did for NBC News, Brokaw compared Trump's proposal to the World War II Japanese internment camps and Nazi Germany and racism against African Americans during the Jim Crow era. Check out the video on NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. So, surprise, surprise. I'm going to phone call from somebody. Uh, Michael Nutter, the mayor of Philadelphia, has openly commented that he would ban Donald Trump from the city. The comment was made in response to Trump's Monday proposal to stop Muslims from entering the U.S. The Associated Press reports, we don't have any room for that kind of stupidity here. Quote, Mr. Michael Nutter. Yeah. The Daily Show. Uh, Political correspondent calls Donald Trump the Hmm. white ISIS on the show. Donald Trump is an extremist leader who came out of nowhere, correspondent Hassan Minaj said on the show Tuesday. He went on to describe par- parallels between Trump and the Islamic State group. You check that out at ComedyCentral.com with The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. Yeah. Barack and wow. uh, Michelle Obama, the U.S. President and First Lady, share favorite books and movies of 2015. President Obama's favorite book was Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. And his top movie was The Martian. For Michelle Obama, her top picks included Inside Out, a cartoon movie, for those of you who are wondering, and The Light of the World. Jimmy Carter. Yeah, remember that president? Uh, nope. Social media users compare Donald Trump's Muslim bloc to ex-president Iranian ban. In 1980, Carter banned Iranians from entering the U.S. during the Iran hostage crisis. Social media users compared these actions to Trump's call to ban Muslims from entering the country. Although Jimmy's was a specific nation, Trump is just everybody who's Muslim. I feel bad for Michael Burhan, who's coming here in a week. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> is he really? He is. He'll be here on the 14th. Uh, oh, Bob God. Stoll, former U.S. senator, says he might oversleep Election Day if Ted Cruz is the GOP nominee. He's not traditional Republican conservative. Dole told MSNBC about the Texas senator and presidential candidate. Dole in 96 was the GOP nominee, said it would be difficult to vote for Cruz in 2016. Uh, and that's all I got for political news, because I really don't do much political news. Uh, We're going to kick it to Syria. Now we're going to go live with Frank's Corner. Following interpretation is brought to you by taste and good form. Tell me something, my friend. Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Wait a minute, wait a minute, you ain't heard nothing yet. <laughs> Nobody can stay in the So we have a caller, yeah. I'm assuming it's you, Frank. Yeah, okay. yeah the guy, I, I'm on a helicopter on my way back. Everything's okay. good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I just figured for the sake of my news, I couldn't be on the battlefront there. Too much gunfire, chaos, women screaming. Bad Wi-Fi. Yeah, battlefields have terrible Wi-Fi. That, that also could be it. Though yeah. the modem was conveniently laying in the sand next to me. Oh. There. Direct line? You have any Cat5 cable hooked up? Good to go? I don't know. No, the Cat5 is going to the PS4. Oh. Um... Way higher priority. Mm, in Syria. This is all taking place in, in yeah, Syria. <laughs> exactly. I had a little uh, hut set up. It was really cozy. Um, yeah, we are a legitimate news source, people. Legitimate. So it's really hard to pick. Well, I shouldn't say hard to pick up chicks, but it's kind of like one of those, you don't know what you're bargaining for until you unwrap it, and then it's kind of like, oh! Yeah, ignore the like, man behind the curtain type burka, scenario. Burka. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> And they get really mad if you just, 
I, it's it's a mess. I can see that. I definitely, uh, but I've heard they've got good curry. No, they I, do I don't have know. good curry. Just that, I don't know they, what curry oh. is. I actually had a hamburger, but I called it curry. Dude, you ate their god. I might be wrong again. I need to get a map and culture. Just saying. I I, I should know too because if I did, I probably shouldn't believe that street vendor. Hey, you American? I, it's uh, it's beef. You buy. So you buy. That, I'm not good with accents. I don't know why I tried. I think that was Jamaican, but it's cool. You were close. <laughs> oh, I think Jamaican's near Syria. I think. I, I I need a globe. If you'd like to buy me a globe for Christmas, seven six zero five one two seven two four seven. We'll do a private call and I'll tell you my address and we can. Hook it up. But Frank's corner. What you got for us today? Wait, Top well, ten serious facts. We, we can we can do that. Like, uh, hey, I need a new headset for Christmas. So call in seven six zero five one two seven two four seven. Yeah, we could be one of like those whores that go on there like, oh guys, buy me these gifts and I'll jiggle my boobs in front of the camera. Ooh, and play the game. Game. Yes, buy me oh. gifts. But I'm jiggling right now, but we're audio, so you don't know what's actually happening. You buy me gifts. I am very, I I am very pretty, yeah. 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 yeah I'm, I'm spanking myself right now, yeah. Yeah, you like it. You like it a lot. Buy me gifts. Yes. Like a globe. So do you have a corner? Oh. <laughs> um, anywho, bringing back some class to this podcast. Yeah, there's I, I do not have. I, I don't have serious facts. I didn't even try to find Syria facts because I really don't uh, too, too much culture. But what I do have is some facts about poop. Everything comes down to poo. It does. There's a book out there. Everybody poos. Everybody poops. About no, they don't. Or, no, they don't. No, they don't. Or if you want a little bit of a lighter read, there's this book called Everything I Learned About Lee I Learned in the First Grade. If somebody <laughs> would read that for me and get back to me. No. That'd be super. Absolutely. Yeah, not. we're spanking nah. ourselves right now. Nah. Christmas. Nah. That's a spark note. Nah. Don't worry, don't worry, Gibby. Your copy's in the mail, I'm sure. Oh, it is. Don't worry. <laughs> You'll have it after Friday. So shut it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, back to poop. Um, I skimmed through this list. There's a lot of poop. And it's, it's a good variety of poop. It's not just human poop. Like dog poop? So, uh. Poop? We have a goose on the show. Like the yeah. parrotfish. Oh. The parrotfish, I think this is your aquatic cousin, Jimmy. The parrotfish eats coral and poops sand. Uh, yo, this yo, is like you got watch out. For many small islands and beaches of the Caribbean. So little did you know, when you're wandering around on the Bahamas, you're just wandering around on parrotfish poop. Oh, I know it. I fucking know it. The the source link is to Wikipedia, so that's where poop comes from. Hmm. Interesting. Um, the the next I... choice is boing boing dot net. That sounds like a porn site. Boing boing. But anyway, number two, there are four bags of astronaut poop on the moon. Just left four behind by Neil Armstrong on his you Apollo mission. Litterers. Fu- yeah, exactly. Ticket. They littered. Give them a is, ticket right now. This is a crazy. public ticket. Neil, he's dead, isn't he? He's, yeah, he's dead. Who's dead? Yeah, that was the one that died. Daniel? That was the one that died. Resurrect him, goddammit. Resurrect him. Well, fuck him. it. Give it to Lance Armstrong, then. Fuck that guy. You are getting tickets for a guy that had the same last name as you because he poops on the moon. Um, really you okay? You're yeah, very upset. Food. I mean, this is kind of, it's what America well, does. We take, we get stuff, we get nice new things, and we poop on them. Shit all over it! You gotta yeah. love poop, guys. Hey, wait, is, oh, is that clip gone? It's gone. There's shit everywhere! There's shit on the walls! There's shit <laughs> on the moon! There's shit on the rocket ship! There's probably shit in the sun, too! Bastard! Who got rid of that clip? That was a good clip. <laughs> I, it's, we didn't use it in enough time, probably, or something, so they just clean it out. No, I haven't been using a lot of clips lately. I hate them all. Because he does get a report hey. of the clips that we use and what we don't use. There's like the number ones and then like the ones that we don't touch. Uh, obviously, the number one. John Cena! Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
He yeah, pooped. I'm glad I resurrected the Moo uh, sound clips, just in case. So and I John Cena poop. <laughs> Number, uh, what, I only went through two. Number three, by the way, I have 25 of these, so if you want me to speed it up, I can. No. I would. Um, speaking of speeding it up, sloths, sloths only poop once a week. Really? And it's called the poo dance. Here's because a I ripped video. my pants! There's a YouTube video. I didn't realize they danced. That's interesting. Kibby, why the hell did you have to send this to a separate... That is one big pile of shit. Well, there you go, Gibby. Now i got to go find Dace real quick so I can actually... Because uh, Gibby couldn't send us into a group chat. No, no Gibby doesn't know how to work the internet. And then the fact that I didn't group us together to make it work either. I still did everything separately, too, so I didn't help the situation. <laughs> the and... fuck is that? There you go. That's the food ant. Crazy. Hashtag poo hands. What are those? Boobs. Did you hear the sound clip or did you yell that? That was a sound clip. I know I get angry, but that was not me. You know, you've oh. lost me. So you do your your thing, and I'm going to watch these sloths poop on this lady. Poop. They do do a little jig. All right, well, whatever. Moving on. I For those following me on Twitter, you're welcome. Flatter. That is one big pile of shit. That is one big Scientists shit, guys. were monitoring whale stress levels by analyzing their poop. And they sure. found that their stress levels plummeted immediately following the, the attacks of 9-11. That's shocking. Why did the whale... So after, uh, because it turns sure. out that either A, they were part of it and they were worried about it falling through, or uh, number two... I get it. I think it's two. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it turns out to all the air traffic being halted which calm the oceans of low-frequency noise, which whales use to communicate. Oh, really? So, so where the, the flying, So all the flying you're doing over the oceans, you're stressing out the whales. So we're the dick. dick. We're the dick. Yep. We're, we, we're the assholes in this scenario. Unless Maybe. the whales you know, did 9-11. The whales did 9-11 because they wanted some peace and fucking quiet for a little bit. <sighs> Just a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit. Wiggle it. In World War II, German tank drivers in Africa used to drive tanks over camel poop for luck. Yo. Or funsies. It was for funsies. I was going to say that had to be for funsies. (laughs) The Allies responded by planting landmines disguised as camel poo. And the Germans got wind of this and began riding over dung that was already overrun with tank tracks. So, in turn, the Allies made mines that looked like overrun poo. Like, oh, we didn't get them. Let's make it look like ran over poo and see if they'll be like, hey, we ran over this before. We can do it again. Are they really not do accents. Accents are not my thing. Wow. The smell of books makes some people poop. Really? The Mariko Eiko, Aoki phenomenon consists of the urge to defecate while visiting a bookstore. Originating in Japan, it's named after the woman who first publicized such an urge. Really? Oh, I have to poop. Wow. Uh, I feel the same way every time I walk in here. It's crazy. Gotta love that poo poo. Um, did Dace die? No, I'm here. I, mean, I know I'm he doesn't this. go into libraries, but. I was watching that sloth video. Again, it's only two minutes long, man. My bad. It's only two minutes long. Your soul shall be mine. You're watching Mortal did Kombat? You start, did you no. start clicking links on YouTube? I oh, might have. It's sorry. a trap. It's uh, a trap! It's a Break trap! Of of well, then we're going to Wombat. Then we will against that Death Star. Sorry. Would you like to learn about Wombat poop? What the hell is a Wombat? Um, it's, Just it's because it's of yours. Wombat. Uh, anyway, wombats have cube-shaped poop, which they use to remember where they live. Where so they Gibby, live? If, yeah, if you forget where you live, Gibby, just, like, poop on the porch or something, and you'll be okay. Wow, interesting. I find that quite interesting. Uh, yeah. Doctors are doctors are transplanting, transplanting poop from healthy people into the stomach of pe- stomachs of people with certain illnesses. 
That makes no sense. It's just... And it's healing them at a rate of 91 to 98%. 98%? Really? I'm sure there's a bunch of scientific mumbo-jumbo that could explain that. But I'm not in the business of explaining my facts. I'm just here to give them to you. And for we you to wonder Google. and Google it later. Yeah. See, my, my tagline used to be I Google it for you, but I gave up on that because there was a lot of reading, a lot of questions, a lot of hassle. Couldn't get T-shirts made, so I don't Google it for you anymore. Just so we're clear. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on, but okay, I keep going with that. I wasn't listening. I, I wasn't listening you guys, are, you guys are the greatest. Of what? Guys. What? In 2009, a man on trial in San Diego brought a bag of poop to the courtroom, smeared feces on his lawyer, and threw the remainder of the poop at the jury. He was charged with robbery and two counts of assault by poop and was sentenced to 31 years in prison. Are you serious? Do you think he was going for insanity? Do you think he was going for insanity on that? Like, it just didn't work? Maybe. That's like, actually a good question. I'm crazy. Look at the poop everywhere. And they're like, no, you're not crazy. You're just a fucking ass. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. You fucking asshole. You know, Dave, it's hurtful. You were very engaged in Gibby's segment, and this segment, you don't, you don't even prepare. You gave me a video. <laughs> yeah, it's your own fault. I know better than that. Oh, and I mean, but then again, Olympics. I did give him a video too, so I guess you, I really you all didn't have much. To not stuff. to mention, not to mention how involved you were in Nick's segment. I mean, holy hell, he's not even here, and you spent more time in his segment than you do mine. This guy is doing his own Olympics, and he got smacked in the head with a pallet because the guy got pissed. <laughs> that is not the video I sent you. No, it's not. I have digressed way too far. <laughs> he tried to shot put like a melon and the guy came out of his fruit stand and beat him with a fucking pal in the head it was funny I laughed that is pretty good and now that that's all just shot put a fishing rod into a lake and he's being chased by the fisherman who's a uh, pulley stole <laughs> let's do this I'm gonna do this I'm nowhere in shape to be an Olympian but I can throw shit into a lake really How are you? I would love to see that I don't think you could. Throw you in a league. So it's time for something news. Is that why I was brought no, back? No, no, I'm I'm not even like halfway through my poo. John oh. Steve. <laughs> Where the hell did he come from? Still trying. Go ahead. Still trying to work this out. <laughs> uh, Mozart had an extremely off-color, absurd, absurd sense of humor. His shit was different. Often exchanging color? letters with what? Nothing. I'm glaring at you right now. You can't see it, but I'm glaring at you. I feel it. <laughs> this Often is exchanging new letters with... What? He's quoting Mortal Kombat again. Often exchanging letters with friends and families with verses such as, We, by the love of my skin, I shit on your nose so it runs down your chin. Sounds like Gibby's kind of guy. Oh, damn right. Go ahead. Uh, there's a pill that makes you poop gold. And it's what? sold for two hundred and seventy five dollars. Uh there's a gold you, Is this you gold take the sellable? Silver, gold. Um I don't know if it's just gold colored or how many See you make me read these things. Okay, let me present you with this single edible ladies of this uh last time I your foot stuff this year, no 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 no. Um a stunning collection of three so you get three of them for two hundred and seventy five dollars, so that's ninety one dollars and sixty seven dollars a pop. Or a poop. Uh hmm. blah 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 blah. I don't get it. So wait. That said Muslims, that's not that word. Other places sign up for more. Um blah blah what? Okay, I only skimmed this article and it's not making sense, so I'm j I'm I'm not even gonna Pandas can poop up to 48 pounds per day. In 1961, the Italian artist Piero Mazzoni, Manzoni filled 90 tin cans with his feces, labeled it artist's shit, and sold them according, the, according, sold them according to their equivalent weight in gold. Many of the cans have since exploded due to the decompo- decomposition producing gas inside the sealed tins. Apparently, this makes the price of the remaining cans go up because they are rarer. So it's worth way more than its weight in gold now, each containing 30 grams of poop worth 100,000 euros to 
a day. Really? So just just imagine this. About you know, 50 years ago, some weird junky artist dude could have been selling cans of poo on the street, and you probably would have given him. I have no idea what the price of gold would have been back there, but let's say 20 bucks, because whatever. And you're like, oh, this will be a funny gag gift one day. And then it never Could exploded, be. and you find out that people are collecting it now. And you could send it, sell it for a hundred grand. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank okay. You. Thank you. Very much. In the early years of the 20th century, horses were causing so much pollution with their poop that automobiles were seen as the green alternative. All the poop generated by the U.S. Navy's newest Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier will be vaporized by plasma. What? Dubai has no sewer systems. Instead, they use poop trucks to haul the entire city's excrement away. Do you want a YouTube video of that? Wow, that seems kind of interesting, but okay. You want the YouTube video? I can give you a YouTube video. I'm good. I right know now. how much Dace likes YouTube videos. I do. Yeah. I'm there now. <laughs> He's not paying attention to you. I'm sorry. I'm on That's YouTube. Okay. I don't need his love. There. There's another one for you. Oh, a YouTube video. Dubai. The shit trucks. Ew. What are uh-huh. talking about? A lot of poop. Oh Always a lot of poop. Some of the shooting stars we see are actually astronaut poop burning up in the atmosphere. No, don't say that. I breathe that air. You tell me the air I breathe is poop? Um, yes. The 3.6 million year old no! Latoli footprints? I have no idea what that is. But it's one of the most important finds concerning human evolution and evidence of r- upright bipedal walking. Uh, oh. Uh, was discovered by paleoanthropists. And. Po- did I say that right? Paleoanthropologist? Pale, pale, pale. Andrew Hill, when he dove into the ground in the middle of an elephant dung fight with his colleagues, he was having an elephant dung fight and an found. Elf dung fight. Are you kidding me? Yep, they were having a dung fight, and he found this footprint of an upright bipedal. Uh, creature. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ancient Egyptians okay. used P-E-S-S-A-R-Y uh, pes- 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 Can we English here, please? Thank you. Yo, Dave. Yo. Yeah, hi. Yo. How are you? I hey. found a Marvel video. Si. Si, yes, it on. Yes, it's true. How do you, how do you, si, how do you si. say this word? I don't uh, know. Would... You're asking me how to say a word. No, no, I'm asking Dave how to say this word. I'd never you. No, oh, right. that's fine. Is it Passeri? Passari? Passeri? I, yeah, I would say Passeri. Have a good night! Uh, made of dried crocodile dung as a form of contraception. What? Yeah, I wouldn't want to have sex after smelling that either. <laughs> <laughs> Do you... Yeah, it was a good joke to end on. It was a great joke to end on. It. No, it wasn't. It was yeah, horrible, it's the one that you horrible, horrible, horrible joke to end You're on. a horrible person. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I'm not going to deny that fact, but go fuck yourself. Have a holy jolly Christmas. Sorry. Okay, I'm almost done. Molly, 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 Molly. What the fuck is that? Three billion people around the world still rely on charcoal and poo to cook their food. Ew! Salvador Dali, Salvador Dali smeared himself with goat dung before meeting his wife for the first time. That's disgusting. No, that was, stop that. That was, the co- that was the cologne he chose. Don't know stop why, that. but uh, it was. Interesting. Interesting, fella. Interesting. Uh, Paula Radcliffe, the winner of the 2005 London Marathon, took a shit on the side of the road in full view of the spectators and cameras. Really? I guess. Wait, did she do it, like, when she won? Like, she was that on the marathon she won? Because that would be phenomenal. Like, she had time to stop, take a shit, and still win. I mean, come on. Come Obviously. On. Only way to go. Come on. All this poop no, talk makes me want to kind of poop. 
You're already close. Oh, man. I mean, but that would mean you have to take a shower. Yeah. And oh, no. would mean that you'd have to tweet all Can't over again. Can't do that. Can't do True. that. Sorry. Um, George Clooney. Boo! Why are we booing him? Once cleaned his roommate's cat's litter box for four days, then shit it in himself, causing the roommate to think it was from his constipated cat. Four day. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, that's kind of interesting. That's a bad prank. Bad prank, Mr. Clooney. Bad. Prank. Bad, well, bad, if bad. you want, if you want That's the YouTube kind of video, no, I'm good. If you want the YouTube video of him uh, explain, not him pooping, or maybe it is. It's up to you. I don't know if I want to click it. And you, you see, I got lazy group you guys together. Yeah, you sent yeah, I ain't clicking on be nothing. I ain't stupid. And. uh... Last but not least, I have Larry Izzo of the New England New England Patriots. Mm-hmm. Once took a shit while on the sideline and got the game ball for his trouble because nobody noticed. I don't get it. So they gave him a game ball because nobody noticed he took a shit? Yeah, and he did it so discreetly. I'm sure plenty of people noticed. No one just wanted to say anything because it was so effing weird. Just it was saying. more of like a Snapchat story. Like, dude, this guy's shitting on the sidelines. I it's mean, not, yeah, it's a believe it or not, it's a Yahoo Sports article from May third, twenty twelve. Oh, Snapchat wasn't there then. That is fucking that. weird, dude. Right. That is fucking weird. Yeah. So it's kind of like, yeah. So it's kind of like, yeah. I know you really had to poo. So you know, kudos to you for being able to do it without anybody catching it. I mean, if that's how you see it, Frank, that's fine. I just think that's effing weird. And yeah, while we're on the topic, while we're on the topic, Tom Brady has a bidet that comes with a dryer. I say. So, okay. <laughs> It's heated, so and it's got the water, water up there. Yeah, he's got, it's got a water that comes up and sprays you, and then it has a dryer. Uh-huh. So it sprays you, then it dries you. I don't know if that comes with all bidets or not, but... It should. Yeah. All I'm saying, Ev- it should. Evidently, they piss on the sidelines, too? Is there, is there like, a curtain for this, or...? Mm-hmm. No, I'm sure. serious. Is there, is there, like, a curtain, or...? Who wouldn't want a curtain? How does I this, stopped or do they just sorry. piss there and like it just never makes it and nobody notices? Like, why is this? Why is this stuff I never knew? Because some people like to talk. Everybody talks. Okay. Everybody talks. It's got it with a whisper. Oh, miss her. All right, Mister Demille, I'm ready for my close-up. We got you, motherfucker. Break right, my shiny metal ass. Oh. Yeah, I'm back. And here we go. Very short and quick celeb news for you this week. Godzilla resurgence. Everyone died. Closer release date uh, revealed for upcoming science fiction kaiju film. Godzilla resurgence, created by filmmakers Hideko Anu and Sanij Higuchi, is scheduled to arrive in theaters on July 29th, according to a new poster released for the film. Stephen Amell, if you're on Twitter, after you're done following us, uh, check out Stephen Amell. He has released a teaser trailer for the upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that will star Amell as Casey Jones. Megan Fox will return as April O'Neil. And WWE wrestler is started to film, uh, slated to start the film, too. So, yeah, there's that. Um, there is that, guys. There is that. There is that. Mercedes Benz has released a Super Mario Maker-themed level. Really? Uh, yeah, the Mercedes-Benz Jump and Drive level features a large structure in the shape of the company's logo, 
the costume that allows Mario to drive a Mercedes-Benz GLA sport utility vehicle. Hmm. So, interesting. Interesting. Just interesting. Interesting. Uh, Ava DuVernay, or I think that's her name, uh, the Barbie doll modeled after filmmaker reportedly sells out within an hour. The Mattel product uh, doll sold within an hour and going on sale on Monday. Multiple outlets reported her 2014 movie Selma uh, was nominated for the Best Picture Academy Award. And if you follow me on Twitter, you'll realize I told AJ, or J.J. Abrams to shut his whore mouth when he said that Ava should direct a Star Wars film. She's never done the genre. She doesn't need to come into the genre now. Piss off. Mm, so I feel about that. <clears throat> Yeah. I'm mad. Mad TV. Mad TV. Uh, Sketch Show is set to, return for the, set to return for the 20th anniversary reunion special. The hour-long special is set to air on the CW on January 12th. News outlets report several of the show's original cast members, including uh, Ike, Baron Holtz, Alex, Alex Borstein, and Keegan Michael Key will return to the show. Uh oh. I am. Keen, baby, keen. Uh, Bloodborne. Player defeats first boss of video games DLC, the old hunters, while unarmed. Lobos Jr. took more than 12 hours to defeat the Ludwig the Accursed, considered to be the DLC's most difficult boss, with only his fifth. Kind of like how yours truly punched Diablo in the face. He did it. In the face. In the face. And that is your celebrity news. Gaby, what do you got going on? Uh, please email me at stacemanshowgmail.com. Please email me at stacemanshowgmail.com. Otherwise, fuck it. <laughs> Franklin, what do you got going on? Uh, follow me, well, I mean us, at the Baseman Show on Twitter. But really me. And I'll tweet on Wednesdays. Sometimes in between other days, but really Wednesdays. That, that's the main day. Uh, yep, that's about it. Yep, that's it. That's, that's pretty much yeah. That's all I do in life. It's called oh, Fuck It. Check out thedaysmanshow.com. Check out oldtimewrestling.net. Yours truly doesn't wrestle for the promotion anymore, but the guys are still putting on a hell of a show. Some great talent there. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, if you saw my tweet that just went out a few moments ago, uh, Diana uh, Perrazzo, because I can't say her name, I never could, never would, someone who has passed through the old-time wrestling arena is on WWE NXT tonight taking on Asuka. Check it out on WWE.com or the network. Uh, check out FanboysAnonymous.com, where so many podcasts are going to be happening. Uh, Star Wars theme this month, because, you know, The Force Awakens comes out in eight days. What up? Are you sure about that? I am. Okay. Just wanted to make sure, you know. Go ahead. Yeah. Next. And check out uh, what I'm hoping some projects I'd like to do, and I will discuss with these gentlemen after the show goes off the air. Hopefully a podcast recapping recap- uh, the League. The League's final episode is tonight on FX. The series will be uh, riding off into the sunset. Also, Gibby and I still would like to discuss Jar Jar Binks and how he is the most crucial part of the Star Wars universe. Damn right. Uh, Got to watch out for the Sith, guys. Right. Some of us would like, and there's some other podcasts I'd like to get off the ground, special editions, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so check out fanboysnotice.com for the latest news concerning the Dace Man Show, yours truly, and maybe one day the Dace Man Show.com. So for the few. For, for the proud. proud. <laughs> <Just hoping. laughs> oh, you Thank you guys for listening. It's been so peaceful without that harpy on the show. You ain't kidding on that one. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs>